Hi everyone, you're on Moby's channel and I'm glad to see you on my channel again. Yes, despite the fact that I showed my face in my recent video, I will still use this voice and this character in my videos, because this computer man knows English and I don't know it very well. Well, this video is completely dedicated to answering the questions that Russian-speaking YouTubers on Skibbity Toilet asked Mr. Boom and believe me, in these answers quite a lot of new interesting information. So before we start, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and also join my Discord server, because that's where the newest leaks of your favorite Skibbity Toilet universes appear, but in any case, we begin. So, let me start by saying that Mr. Boom answered questions from two YouTubers at once. This is for Dell and Razorplay, and I'll start with the questions that Mr. Boom was asked by the YouTuber Razorplay. The first question is, will there be another arc after Astro Toilets? And as you can see Mr. Boom answered yes. I wonder what characters the next arc will be dedicated to? Maybe computer agents? Write your theories in the comments, and while you write we will move on to the second question, which is, where did the secret agent come from? To which Mr. Boom sent this smiley face. He probably didn't want to reveal such global secrets in a normal interview. I guess we'll find out that secret at the very end of the show. The third question is, how did Skibbity get the virus? And Mr. Boom also answers with the same smiley face. Well, the question is also very interesting and Mr. Boom again does not want to tell us all the secrets in a normal interview. I guess we'll see that in the show itself. Let's go to question 4. It goes like this. Does Astro Toilets have its own scientist? And Mr. Boom answers, maybe. Well, that's a pretty interesting answer. Do you think Astro Toilets has its own scientist? Write your theories in the comments. And we move on to the fifth question, which is, is it possible that you'll ever have a team to create a TV series? And Mr. Boom answers, maybe. In fact, there's already a person working with Mr. Boom right now, and the person I've told you about more than once, is YouTuber HoovyTube. But of the best animators I know of and personally know of are the Dom Studio team and Spadarand. Alright, let's move on. The next question is, where did the alliance come from? Mr. Boom answers in a familiar way. I will not linger here and go straight to the seventh question, which sounds like this. Is the first Skibbity Toilet from the first episode an Astro Toilet? And is it alive now? To which Mr. Boom says no. I take it that the first Skibbity Toilet is not an Astro Toilet and is no longer alive. Well, let's move on. Question number 8 is, is the Astro Toilet's main weakness the ultrasound? In episode 67 we were shown how the scientist easily stopped and destroyed the glitch Plungerman. Is it possible that Astro Toilets can also be defeated? Could it be that after revealing the Speakerman agent base there will be an upgrade for the Titan Speakerman with ultrasound making him the strongest and fastest Titan against Astro Toilets? And that's the big question Mr. Boom answers. Yes, he answers it again with that smiley, it's possible that Razorplay was able to somehow foresee the events that will happen in the future of the series. Well, that's pretty interesting, but we'll move on. Question number 9 is, is the beatbox multiverse connected to the Skibbity Toilets universe in any way? To which Mr. Boom answers, maybe. Personally, I think it's connected to the Skibbity Toilets universe, but not that seriously. I think in the future we will be explained how the beatbox universe is connected to the Skibbity Toilets universe. Moving on. Question number 10 is, which post-80 episodes do you think will be the hottest? Mr. Boom answers, all of them. Well, it looks like it's going to be very interesting. And the last 11 question from Razorplay is, if there will be a new race in the series, will it be Alliance or Skibbity Toilets? To which Mr. Boom did not answer at all, or rather he answered, but the answer consists of three dots and I have no idea what it means. Well, now we will go to the next questions, but now they will be asked by YouTuber under the nickname Fordell and believe me his questions are much more interesting, so be sure to watch this video to the end. The first question is, is there a possibility that we will have a canonical spin-off, prequel, sequel or other third-party project on the universe Skibbity Toilet, even if it will be in the format of a non-animated series? And Mr. Boom answers like this, in the future, very much so. So does this mean that after the main Skibbity Toilet story ends, we might see an actual movie in the future? Or a comic book in which we learn more about the Skibbity Toilet universe? I am already imagining as a 30 years old man to see the movie about Skibbity Toilet in theaters and I am coming back to this channel to give you my opinion and analysis of this movie. Well, we've dreamed and that's enough, now we move on to the next question, which is, 
Will there be a remake of the rest of the shorts episodes like there was with the first season? If so, will there be new scenes that reveal more of the beginning of the conflict? To which Mr. Boom replies, I don't think there's enough time for that. I wonder what that means? Does Mr. Boom have his own definite plan that he creates his series and puts it out on certain dates? Or he just means that there is no point in the very first episodes of Skibbity Toilet? Well, either way, we move on. The third question from YouTuber Fordell is, does the Skibbity Toilet series take place in our time? To which Mr. Boom replies, no, not in our time. I wonder if it's the past or the future? Write your theories in the comments, and I'll move on to the next question, which is, do TV man's agents have any restrictions on teleportation? To which Mr. Boom answers, yes, there are certain limitations. The next question is, will we learn something unexpected that will change our perception of one of the alliance races? To which Mr. Boom replies, maybe, I think it will be a race of cameraman agents. Don't ask me why, I just think so. Moving on, the next question is, is the energy of all titans and races different energy or the same energy, but because it is used by different races it changes color? Mr. Boom answers, the energy is different. It seems that then in episode 73 the humans discovered the energy of the cameraman agents, because the energy was blue in color. Okay, moving on. The last question for today is, is there an episode where you left something important to the plot that no one noticed or paid proper attention to? To which Mr. Boom answers, yes, and it's not even one episode. So it turns out that at the moment we have an episode in the public domain, the mystery of which we still haven't solved, I think we need to look more closely at every little detail of every episode. But I'm not going to do that, because we have a lead cameraman and he's doing a much better job of it. Well, I also wouldn't be surprised that right now Elite Cameraman and Databeo are asking Mr. Boom questions, and I wouldn't be surprised that after my video they will release their answers to Mr. Boom's questions. Well, I'd love to see them. I think it's much more interesting to watch new episodes when you don't know some information beforehand and Mr. Boom also understands that, that's why he doesn't answer every question from YouTubers in detail. I remember the times when I was the only popular YouTuber on Skibbity Toilet, then me and Mr. Boom used to communicate more often than now. Sometimes I knew some information in advance but never told about it in the video. After all, what's the point of an episode if you already know everything beforehand? I think if you read the whole script of the series Skibbity Toilet, you would not be so interesting to watch new episodes as now. So just calmly wait for new episodes, and in order that you were not bored waiting for a new episode, you have us, YouTubers on Skibbity Toilet, which delight you with their theories and analysis. So be sure to put a like and subscribe to the channel, and watch these videos, which right now appeared on your screen.